Senator Wish Wilson in continuation. Thank you, Acting Deputy President. Senator Watt mentioned uh, metaphorically the Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull being a green frog. And I thought I thought it was a very interesting a very interesting metaphor uh, considering the old fable of the frog and the scorpion wanting to cross the river. If we think the river is the next couple of years of this government in Australia, and as the fable goes, the frog says to the scorpion, when the scorpion says, Can I jump on your back? And the frog says, Why would I let you on my back? Because if I do, you're going to sting me. And the scorpion says, No, no, I won't do that. I won't sting you. That would be suicide for both of us. So the frog thinks about it, and against his better judgment or her better judgment, she says, Get on my back. And sure enough, the frog swims across the river with the scorpion, and then halfway across the river, the scorpion stings the frog. And the frog says, what did you do that for? And the frog says, I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. It's in my nature. Well, let's think about that metaphor because the scorpion, acting deputy president, is the right wing of Malcolm Turnbull's party. And he did a deal with the scorpion against his better judgment. He did a deal to get to power to become prime minister of this country. And he and this government is slowly sinking barely able to keep their head above water. A totally unnecessary double dissolution that cost the taxpayer tens of millions of dollars, a one-seat majority in the lower house and no majority in the Senate. And is it any wonder that this government is in policy paralysis? It has no vision, it has no courage, it has no mandate. And it, as we highlight the topic we're discussing here today, it's a Prime Minister who doesn't have control of his own party and has no leadership authority. Look at what we've done in the 45th Parliament. What example have we shown the Australian people with the first legislation that's come before this Parliament? The first set of legislation was an omnibus bill to take $5 billion of savings away from students, away from New Start recipients, away from single parents and away from renewable energy. And then just two weeks later, the next bill that we got through the Senate was giving $4 billion back, $4 billion of the five, mind you, that we just saved back to the highest income earners in this country in a tax cut. That does absolutely nothing for the economy to people who don't need a tax cut. What was the political purpose of that? Absolutely no vision whatsoever. And what's been the story of the day today and yesterday? A tax on backpackers, people who come to this country for a working holiday, literally bouncing around on the bones of their backside, having a good time, earning very little money, and this government wants to pinch pennies off. That's its priority. How many million dollars are we talking about? $120 million a year, over forward estimates. If you want to talk about revenue raising, let's get real about reform. We could work together at, across political parties and have real reform in this country that makes this place fairer and more equal and raises revenue to tackle budgetary problems. We could do it together. There is at least $100 billion worth of savings that we would be happy to work with the government on. But what does it do? It targets backpackers, just like it targets single parents, New Start recipients. No vision. And this Prime Minister needs to stand up. Because, as it said on Senator Bernardi's cap on social media a few days ago, we need to make Australia great, Acting Deputy President, Donald Trump's line. Do I need to call him Mr Donald Trump now or President Donald Trump? I know it's not official, but nevertheless, Senator Bernardi clearly doesn't believe that Australia currently is great. He doesn't believe Australia is great and he probably doesn't believe his Prime Minister is great or his political party is great anymore. So watch out for what's coming down the line to the Prime Minister in coming months. And I know there's a lot of people around this country in shock right now as I speak. But I say to them, polish your armour, sharpen your proverbial swords. Now is not the time to lose conviction. 
We will get action on climate change. We will get action on reform and the things that Thank matter you, in this uh, country. Senator Wish Wilson, your time is